Baby's Clothes Decorated Cookies Ideas. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you three different ways on how I decorate baby clothes cookies for a baby shower. So I hope that you like this tutorial and let's get started. These are the cookie cutters that I used. First, you will need to make your favorite cookie dough. I will leave you a link above for a very good recipe. I started by cutting out these cookies. As you may remember, the temperature of your cookie dough is super important. As you can see, these cookie cutters are super tiny and sometimes it's very hard to take them out when you cut out the cookies. You can use a toothpick or you can use one tool similar to this one to push out the cookie dough. At this time, you can preheat your oven at 350 Fahrenheit degrees. Now that I cut all my cookies, it's time to bake them. This is something very important. When you are going to bake small cookies like these ones, you need to lower the time of your baking. So I will start checking my cookies at the 7 minute mark. So I will bake them for 7 to cookies 10 are minutes ready. maximum. It is time for me to transfer them to a cooling rack and let them there like about 10 minutes. And meanwhile I'm going to start preparing my royal icing. I will leave you a link above for a very good tutorial. For these cookies, I use three different consistencies. The firm medium, that is a consistency that I'm gonna talk to you about. The medium consistency to outline. Now that I cover all my cookies with the icing, I am going to add little tiny pearls so they will look like bottoms. I will decorate these cookies in three different ways. I will make a cable knit effect, I will make tiny ruffles and also I am going to add tiny little pearls to have an embroidery effect on the cookies. And I am going to let the cookies dry completely to make the other techniques. Now that my cookies are completely dry, you will see how I made the cable knit effect using the firm medium consistency icing. Now it's time for me to tell you about this icing consistency. This is going to be a consistency that is 
between the firm and the medium consistency, okay? Right now I have here my icing has very firm picks, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water because I am going to use a very tiny cookie decorating that is in number zero. And if you use this firm icing, it will plug your decorating tip very easily. So I need to dilute it a little bit, but not as much as a medium consistency. I am going to add little drops of water. What I'm looking is a consistency that is firm enough to maintain it firm, but also smooth that it can go through my decorating tip. As you can see, the firms are a little bit softer now. So I think so, my consistency is ready. And as you saw, I just add a little bit of water. And as you can see, it's smooth. So I'm going to fill up a pastry bag using a decorating tip number zero. It's gonna be very little. I also fill up a pastry bag and I'm going to use our decorating tip number 101 101S. For the tiny ruffles, I use the decorating tip number 101S. And also, I added tiny, tiny little pearls so they look like embroidery ruffles. This is the perfect consistency icing when you're going to make an effect of cable knit. a cable knit effect with royal icing. And also you can see here how I added some tiny little pearls to make the embroidery effect. This is the little onesie that I made in the back of it. So now I'm going to To make some finishing touches, I'm going to use these rose gold metallic paint from Edible Art. I am going to make the handle of the rattle using a very fine brush. And also I'm going to make the top part of the pacifier and a little dot in here very good now I have all my little cookies ready and I'm going to make a little display as you remember the presentation of your cookie is as important as the flavor so you really need to pay a lot of attention on it here are some different ways on how you can display these beautiful baby cookies
If you are going to display your cookies like I did in this picture, you need to put the cookies in cellophane handbags so they don't get dirty or they don't get contaminated. Okay guys, this is it for today. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and leave me any comment, question or suggestion. Don't forget that you can follow me on my social media and you always need to be very creative in all your cookie decorating and your baking and see you until next time. Bye bye!